And my name is Aaron. And my name is Odin. And we welcome you to International TV Day. More on that after news. A gunman opened fire Saturday in a gay nightclub in Colorado. Springs called Club Q. Five were killed and 25 were injured before the shooter was subdued by pardons and taken into custody by police. The gunman was identified as 22-year-old Anderson Lee Aldrich, who had been arrested previously in 2021 when he threatened his mother with a homemade bomb. Attempts are being made to charge Aldrich with a hate crime. Jason David Frank, who played the Green Power Ranger Tommy Oliver on the 1990s children's series Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, has died. He was 49. The cause has not been released or at the time of death. Frank's Tommy Oliver was seen as the villain, brainwashed by the evil Rita Repulsa, but soon after he was inducted in the group as a Green Ranger and became one of the most popular characters on the show. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hooked on Yarn is a new club for knitting and uh, cro crocheting here at the high school, open to everyone. Join them on Wednesday after school at 3.20 and C10. If you have not gotten your, uh, your ski club paperwork in yet, now's the chance. We still have some more spots left. Turn in your paperwork to Mrs. Paloa in C12 or come pick up the needed information and forms to join this fun winter club. Tomorrow, Tuesday, November 22nd, is the last day to drop off your full year course. See your school counselor as soon as possible if you're looking to make changes to in your schedule. After Tuesday, you are no longer able to drop any of your full year courses. In our deep respect for International TV Day, we have brought with us our very own director and producer, Nolan, for an interview. Hi guys. Welcome to our fine set. I mean, let's be nice. So, Nolan. Don't I take it that you're a big fan of international TV programs? Um, you know, honestly, yeah, pretty big fan. All right. Name every Czechoslovakian produced TV show today. Huh? Um, you know, honestly, maybe I'm not as big as a fan as you might say. Maybe. I'm greatly disappointed. Can't even expect the main, the main producer of Spartan News. Huh. <sighs> Oh, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Oh, Sorry. You gotta give him a second chance, bro. Okay. Like he's our little baby boy again. Yeah. We'll give Odin a second chance right after weather. A 42 and a low of 30 today on Monday and there's only going to be a little bit of snow so it's going to be mostly clear with some sun in the morning and Tuesday is going to have a high of 42 and a low of 29. Tuesday is going to have a little bit more sun and less snow so it's going to be pretty calm days if you're going to do a long drive to visit family or maybe hop on a flight. And with that, I'm Grayson with your weather. Alright, no one. Card. Do you know who that is? Um, you know, honestly, I know exactly who this is because I'm a, used to be a big fan of the show. It's I don't know his name, but it's from Poco Yo, which is a kids show I used to watch all the time. Sorry, just no credit because you didn't name his name. It's Mr. Duck, no one. It's Mr. Duck. It's Mr. It's Mr. Duck, Duck. no one. That's probably not true. He's anyway. awesome. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Did I get like half a point? No, I'm gaslighting you. Next one. <laughs> who is this man? You know. Yo, 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 it's Mr. White, yo. Mm -hmm. Pretty simple, big fan of Breaking Bad. Never seen the show. What? Wait, actually, have you not seen Breaking Bad? I started Bad? watching it, and then got too busy. He's a little, he's a little baby boy. He's a little yeah. baby boy. Well, third one. Third one's <laughs> obviously my favorite guy. It's Tony Chopper from One Piece. I haven't seen the show, but man, I love 
No, no I love one. Him. Can we get much higher? I think we can get so high. So high? So high. So high. Yo ho. So that's a score of like two out of three. Yeah, he got two out of three. Yeah, I'll take that. That's a passing grade. I'm still very disappointed. Like I can't shake the feeling that I'm not proud of this man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess we should move on for this. Yeah. Sport time. Sport. Sport time. Sport time. <laughs> Syracuse men's basketball team beat Northeastern on Saturday, 76 to 48. Jim Beheim becomes the, becomes the first coach in NCAA history to win 1,000 wins twice after the NCAA vacated 101 wins. The Syracuse men's soccer team beat Penn in overtime 2 to 1. Levante Johnson scored the game-winning goal in the first minute of overtime. The Syracuse football team lost to Wake Forest 45 to 35 on Saturday. Sean Tucker had 16 carries for 106 yards and two touchdowns on the night. It was announced last week by the New York Department of Education that schools with Native American mascots, nicknames, and logos would have to be changed by the end of this year or they would li risk losing school aid. The 2022 World Cup in Qatar opened up with Ecuador beating Qatar 2-0 yesterday. Qatar is the first host country to not win its opening match since South Africa did in 2010. The United States opened up group play against Wales today at 2. And I'm Tanner with your sports. Well, everyone here at Spartan News, have a great day. Can we get much higher?